that today you're going to learn about PHP. What is PHP? PHP is one of the most prevalent web programming languages for creating dynamic web content. Its similarities to C syntax and open source nature make PHP relatively easy to learn. Okay, so if you have a basic knowledge of any programming language, uh, it will be very easy for you, this I can assure you. This document, that is this presentation, will give you a brief overview of PHP and several reasons for using PHP as a web programming language and a list of minimum requirements to begin programming with PHP or begin working with PHP. PHP is a scripting language, was created by Rasmus and is designed for producing dynamic web content. PHP was first known as personal homepage, but now it is half a text processor. Why? Because it makes PHP code as input and produces HTML as output. Although PHP is typically used for web-based application, it can also be used for command line scripting ECDOS, commonly handled by Perl, as well as client-side application, possibly with a graphical user interface, a task commonly handled by Python or Java. PHP is interpreted rather than compiled like Java or C, an embedded scripting language, meaning that it can exit within HTML code, so you will have to write HTML code most, most of the time and also include PHP code in between them. It is a server-side technology. Everything happens on the server as opposed to the web browser's computer, the client. Okay? Uh, if you don't know about the one uh, client server architecture and the two client server architecture, I will just request you to Google about it and learn them quite well because PHP almost function in these sense. Cross platform meaning it can be used on Linux, Windows, Macintosh, etc. making PHP very portable. Remember it's not XML over here, extensive markup language where we need an interpreter. In fact what we do is we have to, uh, uh, sorry, it's not about XML where you have to compile, execute and all these or any Java or C. Here it's actually interpreted by the browser directly to render it into an HTML document. Now, PHP doesn't handle client-side talks such as creating a new browser window, adding mouse servers, determining screen size of the user's machine, etc. Such talks are handled by JavaScript or asynchronous JavaScript and XML. Soon I will be making some tutorial on JavaScript, then you can learn how to make use of window, uh, getting the value of a text field, do anything within the web browser until a request from the client has been made. Example, submitting a form, clicking a link, etc. It doesn't do it. Okay, next is why use PHP. PHP has been described as being better, faster and easier to learn than the alternative, according to Ullman, 2004. The alternative being HTML, which is static, we have no database, file interaction and can it handle email. With PHP, you can then handle file upload. And one of the most uh, complete use of PHP, I would say, most important use is connecting to databases, querying, and much more. Additional PHP is free, works on multiple platforms, and is open source. That is, user-driven development, not part of a corporation. These attributes combine with a large development community and the wealth of available PHP libraries. You can make web services with it using new soap libraries which is present in PHP. Make PHP an attractive choice for web developers. The following elements represent the minimum requirement to begin working with PHP concepts such as PHP installation and configuration are beyond the scope of this course. We will be actually starting with PHP enable web server, how to connect with databases, how to write PHP code and execute them at the server side. You will need a web browser and of course in a notepad editor, right? Uh, uh, I will request you to use Notepad++, don't use Dreamweaver, you will never become a good programmer. If you want to learn about the choices of uh, notepad editors, uh, you may go to my first tutorial in HTML. Uh, I talk about the different types of editors that exist, the WYSIWYG editors, and many 
or the concept involving editors. Okay, to start programming in PHP, you will need to download Exam and install it. So installation instruction, you will get it. So you just Google Exam, you go to Apache Friends Exam. You download it uh, for Windows or for Linux. For Linux, you have the piece of codes. How to install it and start it over here, right? The different steps uh, for Linux 1.77. Okay, all the direct uh, website link is apachefriends.org. You can go over there. Uh, for Windows, you click over here. You choose. Uh, you can choose it for the USB. Uh, that is, you can carry it anywhere you want, right? Or download the installer directly. After installing it, you will need to start the exam control panel. The exam control panel will be found over here, and you will have to check if Apache and MySQL has started. To make sure it has started, you go to HTTP colon localhost uh, you will get this so you will be using most of the time PHP my admin right okay let me show you how you can configure and create a user on exam so what you do you go to PHP my admin that is to connecting to the databases later on I will show you how to create a database over here you click on privileges to create a new user you say add a new user you use taxi I'm going to use Suraj and the host I'm using I'm going to use local password you can type anyone I will type one two three four five six I put a very much more secure one eh? right and uh, this will not be required you just click on create user you will have the user created okay the next thing that you will need is a notepad plus plus editor you go to Notepad Plus Plus, Home. You download and install it the latest version. Okay. This is the interface of Notepad Plus Plus. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you start how to start coding using PHP. For now, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Take care and enjoy the New Year 2012.